Look at this Maxi-Matic do hot dog toaster. Wouldn't your significant other love this and a kiss from you on Valentine's Day? Or how about a make-your-own ukulele kit? These are among the most heavily searched Valentine's Day gift items on shopadvisor.com. We have the CEO of that, uh, Scott Cooper. He has the true details oh, sorry, of what it's hot for the Saints Day reserved for lovers. Thanks for being here, sir. Thanks for having me. Um, hot dog toaster are you kidding me yeah it's um the holidays expanding right it's beyond the traditional flowers and candies that i mean that really surprised me i mean i, I would think that's one of the least uh, romantic things to to get something and to make your own ukulele might is, is a little bit more there yeah but you can't actually play it straight away can you <laughs> No, it depends how handy you are, I guess. Okay. Well, one of the things that um, f folks uh, are doing, you're also hearing, is um, clothing um, is entering the picture. Explain what's going on. Yeah, there. the interesting thing happening, kind of as I said, the, the holiday gets bigger and self-gifting. So for women, it's uh, dresses coming into the collection. For men, it's what to wear on Valentine's Day, items for yourself as well as for your your sweetheart. Okay, and, that, and that's a that's a big change too. Is that one that's going to stick? Because we see some trends come through or not come through. Yeah, I think we've seen this before. Think of a, a holiday like Halloween. They went from typically a children's celebration to one that we do with friends and and others. And so it's it's changing a lot now. If you are like a lot of people, uh, procrastinators when it comes to, to uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day, um, what um, what can you do with um, ShopAdvisor.com? So there's there's great services to help you with ideas, right? Beyond the classics, you want to be unique for the holiday. So um, going to a place that has collections and has handpicked things for your girlfriend, for your kids, um, for the people you want to gift to. Um, it's easy to get the ideas and ob obviously with online shopping, it's easy to have those things shipped to you quickly. Now, one of the things I would have thought that would have been very romantic for a lot of it is, is to um, just cook your a significant other a meal. Just just to do it, a, a ha home prepared, you know, get out, make a, bi make a big effort, comes with love, all the love you've put into it. Um, that says a lot, doesn't it? Sure, you're a romantic fellow. Um, well, I, I am. Um, <laughs> wielding, wielding a knife is always um, always fun. It's always fun in the kitchen. Do people typically spend a lot on Valentine's Day in this we, country? We see it increasing um, because we see the number of gifts you're buying or the number of peoples you buy, you buy for growing. There's this um, Galentine's trends, women buying for their female friends, um, and that that's. I was going to question gift. this a moment because I would have thought you would only want to buy something for one person if if it was Valentine's Day, but but. I I see where you're going with yeah. that. It's not people with um, a sort of multiple uh, multiple lovers. Right. Okay. <laughs> I, I think so. Thank you very much. Sure. Scott Cooper of shopadvisor.com.